You're watching IHS TV, Channel 11. This is Kaleidoscope News This Morning. Good morning, Annabelle High School. This is Jess. And Dominique. With the announcements for November, Tuesday, November 11, 2014. The next Latin Club meeting will be this Wednesday at 2.30 in room 231. There will be food. There will be fun. Attention Spanish Club members. The next Spanish Club meeting will be held today at 2.30 in room 228. Refreshments will be served. Student Council would like to remind everyone to please recycle your plastic bottles at lunch by putting them into the container for your class. The annual dodgeball tournament will be on Thursday, November 13th at 6.30 in the gym. The cost is $4 per person, 6 people per team. Sign up now. See Mr. Webb in, Webb in room 219 for more details. And now over to Matt with the weather. Good morning, this is Matt with today's weather. It will be partly cloudy with a high of 68. Tonight's low will be 55. The current temperature is 48. The humidity is at 68% and the barometric pressure is at 30.10 and steady. Now over today's birthdays. This is Karina and Dominique with the birthdays. The birthdays for today are Danny Clemens, Nick Potts, and Renee Williams. Happy birthday. Now over to today's headline. This is Ryan with today's headline. Public school advocates sued top state officials on Monday, alleging that an irrational system of distributing state subsidies is creating academic inequalities and depriving many students of the thorough and efficient public education guaranteed by the state constitution. Now back to the news desk. This is Evan and Josh with the sports. Last night, the Eagles defeated the Panthers 45 to 21. Mark Sanchez had a great game going 20 of 37 with 332 yards and two touchdowns. Also, Evan, as he would have said, he had zero interceptions. Big number for the Eagles. On Saturday's hockey game, the our Interboro High School hockey team defeated Haverford 8-5, improving their record to 3-0. Good luck, guys. Strong start for them. The Sixers are, are off until Thursday where they'll take on the Mavericks. I believe they're on their West Coast trip, so I believe they're away. The Flyers are off until Friday where they will take on the Columbus Blue Jackets. Also, the all Del Val volleyball team was announced. Elena McGrath was named to the first team, Amy and Amber Hadell were named to the second team, and our very own Devin Path down back there, doing the sound, was named to the honorable mention along with Veronica Royer. Tryouts for the boys basketball team will be on November 17th. Varsity and JV and freshman teams will all try out. Freshmen will be at 315 at Prospect Park School, and the JV and Varsity will be at 6 p.m. at the Interboro High School. You must have your winter sports physicals completed or the fall physical to try out. If you'd like to see the full schedule, just check out the athletics page on the Interboro School District website or follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GoBuckSports. Now, back to the news desk. This is Jess and Dominique with some additional announcements. Here are some colleges and universities that will be visiting the Career Center. Wednesday at 9.30, University of Scranton. Thursday, 9.30, Cedar Crest College. Monday, November 17th at 8.45, Morvarian College. Stop by the Career Center, located on the first floor, and get a pass <laughs> from Mrs. Lenza. The high school dual enrollment program at Delaware County Community College gives students the opportunity to earn college credits while they're still in high school at, fra at a fraction of the cost of standard tuition rates. Interested high school juniors and seniors are invited to apply and participants are selected based on demonstrated academic ability and motivation. Interested high school juniors can take up to nine credits while seniors can take up to 12 credits at a special tuition rate. A representative from DCC will be at Interboro High School on November 18th. Junior and senior students should see their counselor as soon as possible if they are interested. And now over to the menu. This is Zach and Jeff with the menu. Today we'll have Philly Steak Bar. Tomorrow we'll have chicken cordon bleu and a wrap. Now over to the vocab word. This is the vocab kit with the vocab word. Today's word is influx, a noun meaning streaming together a continental incoming or where two rivers join. For example, 
After advertising their programs in a Tokyo newspaper, the language school received an influx of students from Japan. Now over to the quote of the day. This is Jeff with the quote of the day. Bruce Lee once said, Mistakes are always forgivable if one has the courage to admit them. Now over to this day in history. This is Christian Brady with this day in history. On this date in 1918, World War I ends. Now back to the news desk.